Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Shella, with P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K. That's P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, eating good in a neighborhood. We have fried cabbage and be surprised, Shella's Creations Way. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Shella, with Promo S-T-K. That's P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, eating good in the neighborhood. Shella's creation again. I mean, I tell you, my mind be busy. And I'm going to try this concoction. Uh, it, I believe it's going to be yummy. I call it burger sausage loaf. Burger sausage balls or burger sausage loaf. We'll see what it turns out to be, you guys. So what we have here, we have your Angus ground beef. And again, this is probably about maybe three pounds ground beef. We have some Georgia Boy sausages. We got three links of Georgia Boy sausages, you guys, three links. We have our beautiful tomato here, tomato, tomato. We have our onion. Of course, we have our handy seasonings. We got Worcestershire sauce, black pepper, lemon powder, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne. Mm -hmm. Uh, powder, cayenne powder, cayenne powder, spicy powder, and of course our minced onions. So what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna season the meat until I get everything that I want in it, in it, and then put it in a ball. So what I'm gonna do first of all, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the onions. And of course I got my onion right here. Bring it down a little bit so you guys can see. We cut this onion up. Oh, don't want to cooperate. I know what I'll do, you guys. Excuse me. There we go. All right. So I'm going to actually use a whole onion, you guys. And I'm going to kind of cut it up in long strips because of what I'm doing with them. So we'll cut that down the middle. We'll pull this off and hopefully I won't cry and tear up. I haven't so far, I haven't so far. Let's see. Okay. Let's get these onions pickled there. And as you heard that little beeping noise my husband just got back and our babies decided they want to greet them at the door so that's what the barking is you guys frank say hi Hello, everyone. so as you can see i'm cutting i'm cutting down the line with these onions i want long strips Long strips like this, you guys. Long strips like this. Yeah, I let them stay out. And cut them in long strips. And I am going to put them in the oven, you guys. I'm going to put them in the oven on 350. I'm going to put them in the oven on 350. And then I'm going to cut my onions are cut. Now I'm going to cut my tomatoes, and I'm going to do the tomatoes, you guys, the same way. Do the tomatoes the same way, you guys. Same way. My husband just came back from the pharmacy talking about his medicine. So... Get this piece off of there. I don't want that. All right, so now you guys see what I have here. Okay, this is what I have. I've got the onions cut up and I got my tomatoes cut up. Now, what I'm gonna do now is cut up my sausages. And again, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna cut these just, just in little, little circles like this, like so, like so, you guys. 
with the skin on. Because these Georgia Boy sausages, I'm telling you, this skin just melts in your mouth. Yeah, my husband know about this. Yeah. We're going to have us another Shellos creation today, you guys. And as you can see, I'm sitting down chilling. Been working all day. Least I can do is actually sit down and uh, prepare this meal. Yes. So I'm gonna finish cutting these sausages up the way I want them. And again, I'm using three of these Georgia Boy links. If anybody know anything about the Georgia Boy? I'm on my third one, you guys. Mm -hmm. Looking good, looking good, looking good. I got it down so you guys can see me. So I know you can't see all my face, but you can definitely see all this that I'm cutting up. Okay. So now I have everything that I need cut up. Cut up. Now I'm going to take my ground beef. You guys see the ground beef right here? And I'm going to take it like, like, grab a bit like this. Y'all see this? Maybe like a palm full. And in that palm, I'm going to take some of these onions right here, there. I'm going to put like two or maybe one, all depends, tomato like this, like that. And then I'm going to put a sausage, I'm going to put like two in there. Do it up, baby! And oh, do it up, girl. Press it down like that, you guys. Then I'm going to take some more meat and put it on top of that. Kind of like seal that in there real good. Oh, the sauce is in the hamburger. Oh, girl. Girl, your brain is like running. This. Just like this. So it's all inside. All sure inside. All inside there. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? And then once I get all the rest of it made up, I'm gonna season the outside because the outside is gonna suck it all into the inside. So it's gonna lay it over here on my parchment paper. Again, you guys, this is just another one of Shello's creations. Cause I love doing stuff that's different. And put a couple of onions in this one. Can never go wrong with onions. You guys, remember put two other sausages in there, like so. Oh, one fell, and I think well, probably one of my babies will get that, but that's okay. We'll put it in there like this, and then we'll take another pad of hamburger meat and just get it all sealed in to where you don't see anything else. Nothing else, you guys. Nothing else. And these are going to be dinner balls, you guys. Like patty balls, dinner balls, whatever you want to call them. So that one's all sealed. All signed, sealed, delivered. That's number two. We'll do number three. Right here, my husband's looking. He's trying to figure out what I'm doing. No, I ain't trying to figure out what you're doing. I said, my head. I can think too. I can create stuff too. Oh, I think if it's been the, the link wise like this. Oh, he's trying to tell me how to do my it, stuff. It would have been a little better. Uh huh, sure. But this is Shiloh's creation. Yeah. So, you want to come in here and create something? No. Okay then. You in the way. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I was, I'm, in I'm in the way. Mm hmm. Sure. Sure. Sure, I'm in the way. Just want to kind of cover up everything, make sure everything is sealed good. Like this. Right here. See that again? So that's number three. Let's see if we can make a number four. We probably can get five out of this. Maybe. That's three so far. Put two sausages in there, 
tomato in there. We gotta get this sucker sealed up. Signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we got that one. Ooh, I can't wait. So that's number four. Yeah, you guys, we can get five out of here. We're gonna have some left over, but that's okay. We're gonna have some of these sausages and onions left over, but hey, we can always do another meal with those. They don't all have to be incorporated in this. We'll just add, we'll just add two tomatoes in that one since this is gonna be the, probably the last one. And it's gonna be the mother load, you guys. Did I put the onion in there? Oh no, y'all forgot to tell me. I missed the onion. We'll just slide that sucker in there. Hope I didn't miss the onion or anything else. We'll put some extra onion. This will be Frank's. <laughs> we'll get that one to Frank. Because he loves onions. He loves onions. So we'll get this one to Frank. Still gotta seal the deal. Seal the deal, you gotta seal the deal. Okay. All right, so we have that sealed, and I'm just gonna get up a minute just so I can wash my hands, you guys. Stop, girl. Stop that. So we have some leftovers. We'll do something else with that. I'm pretty sure Shilla Creation can think of something. Probably you'll just put it in a pan around yeah, it and yeah. top off whatever. We'll, we'll see how pretty we can make it. But right now we'll just sit it over here. And then I will slide this over here so you guys can see what I got going on. What I got going on. Yeah, yeah. Y'all see these big old bombs? Y'all see these bombs? Yeah. All right, now we're gonna season. Now we're gonna season. All right, we got the lemon pepper. Go it up, girl. Like I say, once you season the outside, the inside works itself. Onion powder. These are my staples, you guys. I go to this. If I go to nothing else, I go to this. Like Whitney Houston. I run to you. I uh, run to you. Uh, Some cayenne kind of pepper. I want to burn Frank's mouth. Maybe that'll no, not that keep him quiet. Look at this, you guys. Yeah, burn his mouth real good. Woo -woo. We got some garlic pepper. Ooh, that cayenne. Ooh, cayenne pepper is a little spicy. It's making me try to sneeze. Some garlic powder. Yes. Whew. Oh, Thank you. Whew. Had to walk away. Had to walk away. And then, of course, the black pepper made me sneeze our last meal. So let me see if I can just kind of get this on there without having to sneeze. Very good. Then we got a little bit of Worcestershire sauce left because I need to go to the store and get some more because. I like using this on my beef. Sure. God bless me. Ooh, that black pepper, I tell you. Well, they ain't on the food, so. Why don't you put mine on your beef? I'm going I'm to I'm I'm make sure I just, just do it just to get you yeah, something. Right. Yeah. Since you want something so bad. All right, you guys. That's it. We're going to flip them over. Like so. Flip them over. Like so. Like so. And we're gonna do it again, guys. Press them down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Press them down a little bit. And then reverse. You know that reverse, reverse. So we're gonna go lemon pepper. Mm-hmm. Yes. And we're gonna go garlic powder. Mm-hmm.
Onion powder. And as you can see, we're not using any salt. No salt. Woo, we're gonna do some cayenne pepper. I know I keep pronouncing it wrong, y'all. <laughs> and then we're gonna do some garlic pepper. No, I'm sorry, we already got it. We're gonna do lemon powder. Just a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And that's gonna about do it, you guys. And I had some minced garlic, but what I'm gonna do with the minced garlic over here. Oh. Well, you got to stop snow diving now. Just eat it. <laughs> and then we'll do a little bit of the minced garlic. And as you can see, we had a little blooper because a camber went overboard. It went overboard. Yeah, my husband made me drop the camera. You know, she, she, she good at that. Nah, he didn't. He, he don't even call me a liar. My boss told me today, he said, tell your husband to stop it. calling you a liar. You're well, not a liar. You got to tell the truth. I tell the truth. Good so we're just going to pack these little you garlic things on you. here. Smooth them in like this, you guys. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to leave this on the top, I'm actually going to flip them over. So the garlic is actually at the bottom, you guys. Yeah, I'll shut the bottom like that. Now I'm gonna plate, put it on a pan. Wash my hands. Woo! Some more napkins and drop it. So I have my pan over here, you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I got foil in there. I'm gonna take these little beautiful babies and I'm gonna put them to rest in this little pan over here. These beautiful babies. Don't they look good, y'all? I know. I know. I know they look good. Make sure we got enough room in the pan. Y'all see this? Oh yeah. It's gonna be magnificent. Yeah. And I will. Actually, I'm, I'm not very wasteful, you guys. I'm going to take the onions and the rest of the tomatoes that we have here. I'm just going to put them right here in the pan. I'm going to put them right in here in a little bunch. Right there, you guys. Y'all see that? Put them right over here in a little side. A little side over here. Put some onions and a little rest of the tomatoes. Like I said, you guys, no rules. Show us creation. No rules. Show us creation. And then I'm going to take the rest of the seasoning that's in this pan right here, y'all. And I'm going to put them just on those little veggies in there. So, this is what you get, you guys. Y'all see that? Mmm. Now I'm gonna put them in the oven and let them bake for 350. I am going to cover them with the foil. Preheat your oven already. And then we'll see you guys uh, when I pull them out. All right, you guys, I'm just gonna check on the meat. It's in the oven. See how it's looking. Mm, looking good, looking good. Gotta cook a little bit longer, but cooking good. We're right at the maybe 40 minute mark, so it shouldn't be much longer. Because you're gonna let it bake on 350 for about an hour. We'll come back. All right, you guys, so our next dish that we're gonna start prepping for, if you will see, I already have the ingredients listed right before this video, but we're gonna use pure butter, onion, the whole onion, we're gonna have scallions. We're not gonna use the whole scallions, but we're gonna use we're gonna use a pretty good amount of them. We'll probably use about four, maybe five of these, but at least four. And then you got a, a head of cabbage. You got your black pepper, your garlic powder, your onion powder, your lemon pepper, and your minced garlic. We have our squash and we have our zucchini, and we also have 
smoked bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash out my veggies. When I do my cabbage, I will cut my cabbage apart and wash the entire cabbage. I don't just cut it, I wash it. I wash all my vegetables that come out of the ground. So that will get washed, my scallions will get washed, and I've already washed my squash and my zucchini. So you guys will see me in just a minute after I wash these vegetables and we'll get to cutting. All right, you guys, just before I wash my cabbage, I'm just gonna show you guys how I cut it because I cut very, the very thin strips. So I just wanna show you guys how I'm gonna cut the cabbage. So you guys know when you do the recipe, how you wanna cut it. So we're just gonna go down here just like so. Let's see how thin that is. So you guys get the idea of how thin we want our cabbage to be. This is how thin we want our cabbage to be, you guys. So I'm gonna continue to cut this and then I'll go over to the sink and wash it and then I'll be back to show you the rest. All right, you guys, I'm over here just finishing up washing my cabbage leaves. Yes, washing them up real good. And I've already put some in my strain pan right here. So I'm gonna bring this one over to the table. And then what I'm gonna do next, you guys, I'm gonna push you a little back a little bit, is my bacon that you guys saw. I've already opened it up. It was, you guys see, it was 16 ounces, so one pound of bacon. And I've already cut it. This is what I've done, you guys. I took it and I took my handy dandy scissors and I just cut them in squares, I'll show you, like so. Just cut them like that in little square bits. And once you get them cut in those square bits, y'all yeah, know what I'm getting ready to do. Woo -hoo! We getting ready to put them on this skillet. I already got the skillet on. I've already turned the oven off, you guys, because the meat in the oven is done. So we got this cut the way we want it. And we just gonna take you guys over to the oven and let y'all see what we mean when we say we fixing to get down with the cookie, with the cooking. I'm bring y'all a little closer. Hopefully y'all see it a little better. Hopefully y'all see it a little better. There we go. So all this good old meat right here. I'm going my little hot skillet. It's already hot, but just still. Yeah. I turned it on high, you guys. My husband always trying to get on to me. I'm not turning stuff on high, but guess what? I'm the one cooking it. So I can turn it on high. Can y'all see this? I'm gonna bring y'all a little closer so y'all see what I'm doing over here. Yep. Y'all see this? Yep. And just gotta let this brown. Yeah. And then once you let it brown, we're gonna get that good old grease that renders from that. We're gonna fry down that cabbage. Oh, yes, we are. We're gonna fry down that cabbage. And then once we fry down that cabbage, we're gonna add some some other goodies to it that we're gonna fry down. So I'm gonna uh, let this brown. As you see, it's right in the pan. And then I'll come back once it's done so I can show you the next step. All right, you guys. This is about the consistency of brown. You want to get it? See that? Oh, yeah. Y'all see that? How y'all want to get it, just like that. Put my screen on top so it won't pop on me. We don't want no grease popping. So I'm just going to turn the eye down a little bit and get this bacon out of here. Yeah. And we're going to put the bacon in this pot. 
pot right here. in here so what we're gonna do now is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take and pour it over in this pot right here all that bacon is poured in this pot yeah poured in this pot right here yeah. let it continue to cook a little more and then what I'm gonna do to that good old bacon I'm going to go ahead and start adding my cabbage. Adding my cabbage in there, y'all. See this? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And y'all know that cabbage, it shrinks. So I still have some in the sink that's drained. So once this cooks down a little bit, I will add the rest of the cabbage. Y'all see that? I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the cabbage out of the sink. Have that ready to go. Then we'll go back to the cutting board and cut the rest of the ingredients, which will be the zucchini and the squash, you guys. The zucchini and the squash. Y'all see that cooking now? Yep. Alright, that cooked down a little bit. I'll get my lid. My cabbage is good for you too. Eat the cabbage by itself, look at that. Mm. Mm. Cabbage. Actually it's sweet. Mm, bring that back over here. To our cutting board. vegetables. I'll let this aisle here stay on in the rear. I'll do the front one. Let it stay on though because we're still going to use that front pan. That's what I'm going to do here is we're going to cut up these scallions. And you know what? I probably can use my handy day scissors again no I won't use the scissors that's a bit much I'll just use my knife this knife seems to cut the veggies okay see that you guys mm -hmm. and then I'll go put this in a fry pan the bacon grease was in you guys subscribe to my channel p-r-o-m-o-s-t-k that's p-r-o-m-o-s-t-k eating good in the neighborhood eating good in the neighborhood eating good in the neighborhood yes i saw a little clip on i think it was facebook how they took the ends of this when they kept it a little bit longer put the ends of this in water and just grew another onion. By the time I think about it, I've already diced and cut them up. So here's my onion, you guys. And I think, I know I told you guys at the beginning to use a whole onion, but I think I'm gonna use half. Now remember what I said about this, don't use this first if you're only gonna use half, save that. Keeps it, keeps it longer from going bad. So we're gonna use this one right here. Yep. 
the cabbage is sounding good over there, so I'm medium heat. I'm gonna leave my onions sliced round and then cut in half, you guys. My husband said, girl, you can cut your fingers. Well, I'm not gonna change myself, so. Huh? We're not gonna cut fingers today. I'm gonna do the onions long strips like that. Yeah. And the ones I cut like this, we'll do them like that. Let me go ahead and put these in the fry pan. And that's the fry pan where I fried the bacon. So I'll do that now. I'm gonna take half of this butter, half of the butter, and I'm gonna pour it in there with my, uh, put it in there with my, put one half in there with my cabbage, and one half in there with my, guess what? My bacon. Let me just show y'all what I did so y'all know what I did. Now y'all see right here where I put the stick, the half stick in here with my, that was in the pan with the bacon that I fried. I took the bacon out, but my veggies are still in here. I'm putting my, so I'm putting my veggies in. So I put a half a stick of butter and right over here with my cabbage, the half a stick of butter. Okay. I'm going to let that melt down. If you see, I get all bacon. In there. Oh yeah, it's cooking down real good. So we'll let that just continue to cook down, you guys. Let's finish our little thing over here because we got something going on. We got something going on. I have a total of four zucchinis, but I think I'm only going to use two zucchinis for this recipe, and I'm only going to use two squash for this recipe. How about that, you guys? Are y'all okay with that? Or I might use more. I haven't decided yet. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna cut it down the middle. I've already cleaned the vegetable. Cut it down the middle like this. Use this knife right here. And then I'm just gonna cut them in strips, you guys. Cut them in strips, long strips, like this. See that? Like, just like that. They don't have to be too thin, but you don't want them too thick either. So kind of do them the way you see me doing them here to that type of thickness right here. Okay. Let's tip that end off. And then once you get done, once you get done, cutting it like this you'll put it in there with the onions that we got going on and again this is just a Shella's Creations dish you guys Shella's Creation Shella's Creation that tips off Remember, cut it in half and then go long ways. Okay. Cut it like this. Mm, smelling good in here. Smelling good in the neighborhood. And we're going to be eating good in the neighborhood. <laughs> Yes, we are. Set up 
Okay. I never ate a squash raw, I don't think. I'm pretty sure you probably can. But I don't think I have. Or maybe I have and don't know it. I don't know. Okay. Now we're going to cut this good old zucchini. Same way, you guys. Same way we cut the squash. The same way we're going to cut the zucchini. And you guys, you can do so much with zucchini. It, it, it could be a... Um, used as a vegetable like what we're using as today it can be used as a dessert i mean multiple 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 uses you guys multiple multiple uses see it's quiet in here my husband's in the bedroom taking a shower actually because he's been out trying to do something on the lawnmower I don't know. He said it was working, and then after I got home, he said it wasn't working anymore. So <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say by that. But anyway, it's too hot to be out there trying to mow anyway. He don't need to be under any heat because he wasn't feeling good yesterday. So he really don't need to be out there in that heat. You guys know about that. really don't need to be out there in that heat so how's the weather where you guys are because it is like oh, sweltering here sweltering hot our hot maybe you're feeling good or our hot maybe just extreme but i know it's like 90 something degrees it's gotten as high as a hundred as far as last week it did, so I don't know about this week. Mm -hmm. yes. Right, the other half to go. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna do two for this recipe. If there was more people coming over, I probably would do all four of each, but it's just me and my hubby. And you know, I know I, I could. I love me some zucchini, some zucchini, so I know I can. I could eat it. You know, but I'll probably use it for something else, for a different recipe, a different shallow creation. Right down to the last bit. Okay. Now, we got all this cut up, you guys. Cut up, yes. Now, let me go check over here. And see if it's time for me to incorporate. Oh, yeah. Cabbages are definitely down. So, we will go ahead and add the rest of the cabbage. The rest of the cabbage. Yes. Then, after I put the rest of this cabbage in, you guys, look at that. Mm, that is so good. After I put the rest of that cabbage in, the cabbage, once I get the cabbage all in, which I did, we are going to take this good old squash and zucchini right here, and we're gonna put it in with the onions the onions and the good old bacon juice that was left. I call it good juice. It's that pot liquor. So we will do that. Let me check on that. Make sure it's hot. Oh yeah, it's ready. Butter's melted in there. So we're just gonna drop this in there like this. You guys see? So I've got the cabbage, all the cabbages in you guys. All I have to do now is just, you know what I gotta do now? Put the seasonings in. Put the good old seasonings. So I have, I'm gonna turn the eye on about medium high with these zucchini and 
such. And now that the cabbage is all in here, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my seasonings in. How about that? Y'all ready for those seasonings? Okay, I go to my staple of seasonings. You know I gotta put my lemon pepper, you guys. I put lemon pepper in everything, especially because I don't put any salt. So we just gonna shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your lemon pepper. Woo, woo, woo. So that's good. And then we're gonna put our garlic powder. Yay. Our garlic powder. Mm -hmm. And we'll also throw some garlic powder over here on our veggies. And you know, while I'm doing it, might as well put some lemon pepper over here on the veggies too. We're gonna put the black pepper and the onion powder. So now the onion powder. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Black pepper. Gotta be careful with the black pepper, you guys, because I'm just trying to make me sneeze. Black pepper. All right, I gotta do some more black pepper. I told you my husband. Ain't got lemon pepper, we got black pepper in it anyway. But my husband, he be going off on this black pepper. I don't know why he can go through some black pepper. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of, about a tablespoon of garlic on the veggies. Yeah. But I know that some black pepper was in there because I feel like I gotta sneeze. Oh. Ooh, hopefully I don't sneeze, but if I do, it's okay. So. Y'all see that steam coming out of this pot? Yes, that's what you wanna see. You wanna see that steam coming out of this pot? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all wanna take a closer look? I know y'all do. See this? See that? And see this. Go to the bottom, get all that good old bacon that's in there. See all that good old bacon? Look at that. See all that good old bacon? I know y'all see that bacon. Yes. Uh -huh. So guys, once the cabbage gets all done and the way I like it, we're gonna take all these vegetables right here, everything in that pot. And we're gonna make one. We're gonna combine them both. That's a part of Shell's creation. You'll see it uh, when I get ready to do it. So I'm gonna put you guys in a pause break and just we'll return. All right, guys, I am gonna add some red pepper flakes to the cabbage. Just about a tablespoon of it to the cabbage. If you guys can't take the heat of the red pepper flakes, stay out of the kitchen. Almost done, you guys. Almost done. We let y'all take a look at the cabbage you know? See that? Y'all see that cabbage? See that good good? See that? Y'all see that? Yes. Almost getting there. Almost done. We'll return just a bit. Alright, you guys. I'm let you guys see how I had to change eyes. So, you know, my husband, like I say, my husband, I would say I throw everything on high. But you see how this is looking? Y'all see how this is looking? Mm, man, I tasted some of this. Like, oh, I should leave it by itself. But no, honey, this right here got to go where it needs to go. And that's with the cabbage. Y'all see this? Mm, 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 mm. All right, y'all. Y'all see that? Look at this. Look at it. Look at that goodness. Look at this. Look at that. All right. I'm going to put you back over here. And I'm going to let you see me put it in. Turn these eyes off so I won't pour up no tablecloth like I did the other night. And we're just going to pour it. Should I do it this way? Hmm. Which way should I do it? Uh, let's see if I can do it this way without dropping a pan so y'all can see. Pour the thing in here. Yes. See that, y'all? This is Shell's creation. Yes, Shell's creation. 
Nobody else's but mine. Water that. Now I'm gonna take and just incorporate everything together. I'll let y'all see that while I incorporate everything together. Mm-hmm. Y'all see that? That's a pot of good good. That's what that is. Mm-hmm. Y'all see that? Now I want y'all to try it. My husband over there tell me you need to get your beer. I'm gonna get my beer, my paper towel. He also told me he I, I want some snack delicious sauce. I said, well, I ain't putting on the, the meat that we got. I said, but if you want some snack delicious sauce. We got some extra in the refrigerator because I keep it on hand. We'll have some smack and sauce. So the next video you guys see will be me presenting it on the table as we eat. So come eat with us. Yay!